Hello and welcome to Sabi Book. Today we are going to answer a question I find quite interesting uh, because it's related to automobile and these are applications that we come across from time to time in our everyday activity. Let's go straight to the question. In a car, there are two doors. When either or both of the doors are open, then the courtesy light is on. Design the following electromechanical circuit. At the point when both doors have just closed, the courtesy light will go off after 15 seconds delay. Define first the state of the doors. Define first the state of the door switches clearly. Have you ever wondered why um, in a car, when the doors are opened, the, the lights in the car comes on? That's called courtesy light. The lights that actually illuminate inside of the car so that you can see around the car, inside the car. Um, but when these doors are closed, the light goes off. But they do this after 15 seconds delay or depending on the car, could be 10 or even 20 seconds. Now today we are going to show how engineers design this and um, that way we would answer this question here. So first we would talk about normally open and normally closed switches. Normally open switches look like this. They are normally open because if you notice here, there is a gap between this point and this point. And that means that there is the, the switch is open. Let's call this NO, normally open. And normally closed switch would look like this. If you notice, that gap here has been closed or breached by a line here. And that shows that the switch is closed. These are schematic way to represent normally open or normally closed switches. Normally closed, NC. So with this symbol, we can now define the state of the door switches. What kind of switch do we want to use here? We could use both of them, any of them. But for sake of simplicity, let's use a normally open for this example. So we say normally open switch, that is this one. We're going to use this. Now let's define the state of the switches as related to the doors, of course. How do we want to operate this door? When the doors are closed, what does it mean for the switch? When the doors are open, how does it relate to the switch? Normally open switch is normally open because the original position or state of the switch is open. It is only when it is activated that is when it becomes closed. Since we are using a normally open switch, we will say when the door is closed, then the normally open switch remains open. So, so we say here, when door is closed, door closes. It means switches Or switch open and then when door is open when door opens then switch closes so that is what we are trying to achieve now we will go to designing this question and designing it we will we need a power supply a power supply of 24 volt, for instance, could be any voltage value, but 
24 volt, which is typical, uh, 24 volt DC, for instance. Let's assume it takes its power from the battery of the car. 24 volts. So, 24 volt DC supplying through a line passing through the switch, normally open switch. And we have two doors, for instance, in this car. And um, it means that we will need another switch here. And then it goes straight down to this point. Remember that both switch remains open as long as the doors are closed as we have defined here. So let's call both switch S1 and S2, switch 1 and switch 2. And they are connected to a timer. Why do we need a timer? because there is a delay when this switch is um, closed. That is, when both doors are closed, rather. When both doors are closed, it means there's a delay when the light should go off, 15 seconds delay. We're going to use an off delay timer. Off delay timer is responsible for keeping the lights in the car on after 50 seconds before they go off. This is how we represent on off delay timer. We're going to shade right inside here. There's also an on delay timer, but that does the opposite of an off delay timer. So now we have this connecting to a neutral or ground value which usually is zero volts. Now timers which are also special kind of relays are usually comprising of um, a coil and a contact. Now this is the coil of the timer. Let's call this T. Now, we also know that this timer has a contact. The contact is responsible for opening or closing or activating the, the, the lamp when the set time or preset time has is reached. So, we will draw here another contact for the timer, which is, of course, normally open. We call this T because we need to reference it to the timer so that we know that yes, this is the contact for this coil. And then we we'll draw a straight line straight to a lamp. And this lamp is of course the courtesy light that comes on and drag this down and connect it to the neutral source. So, we call this H. Now, this gives the solution to this question. We have current flowing through here. When S1 and S2 is open, we expect that no current will pass through to energize the coil of the timer. This needs power so that this contact can close. But when we close these two switches, meaning switch close, door opens. That means the doors of the car are open. So in other words, when we open the doors of the car, that means when we close these switches, it sends power through 24 volts supply to this coil of the timer. And this coil gets energy. It gets some kind of energy that allows this contact to close. It means this contact closes and immediately power flow through this direction straight passing through this closed contact and then to energize this lamp then the light in the car comes on. 
But what happens when both doors are closed? In other words, what happens when the switches are open? So when we close both or either of any of them, then it means that, for instance, we close this door and this switch open. Then power fail to pass through here. This becomes de-energized. Or we open this switch, which means we close one of the door, door two, then power fails to pass through this part, and it means this coil will not get energy. And then this will open. But this will not open immediately. It will take 15 seconds before this opens. If it were a normal relay, then this would expect to open immediately. But off the lathe timer operate in such a way that they do not act on the on their contact immediately. It takes some delay before the contact open. So even though this has failed to get energy or power, it means that these will still stay closed. But until after 15 seconds of delay, then this opens up. So during the 15 seconds, the lamp remains on. And until then, the lamp remains on. But after then, the switch opens up and this lamp goes off. That explains that. And thank you very much for staying with us and I hope you understand this. We will see you again in the next video.